Hey yo, what is good ladies and gentlemen, this is your boy Chad bringing you guys another video and in this game you're going to be seeing me and my homie Brev um, running with this random name Endog, um, we're just running a little bit of ranked, I haven't played Apex in so long, um, so this don't be like oh you got you know the amount of kills you did and you know clearly I played the game before because I've been masters as you see but don't be like, oh, it's not that impressive. Trust me, I recorded at least seven games and I still have to edit. Um, where me, you know, Brev again and my homie Isaiah, we went absolutely crazy um, in the game. Um, but yeah, like you see, this is going to be a seven kill game, like 17 or 1800 damage. And I know that we're, you know, currently recruit rookie or whatever before you get to bronze. But trust me, as these videos get uploaded, you guys are going to be like, wow, like, you did go crazy. Um, but in this video, while the gameplay is going, I'm just, like I said, doing a commentary over it. Um, I'm really just going to talk about the Drake, J. Cole, and Kendrick situation. So, unless you've been living underneath a rock, um, you do know that Drake um, is beefing with Kendrick, and so was Cole at one point. Um, my whole thing is, for me... Drake, to me, is the number one rapper. He's always been my favorite rapper. I know a lot of people say Drake's their favorite rapper, but I've been rocking um, with Drake and at least his music since I was probably in, like, the fifth, head to sixth grade, if we're being honest. And ever since then, this man has literally done no wrong on any songs. Like, I went back and listened to Take Care the other day, and I was like, man, this sounds like it was recorded in 2023, 2024, like, this is quality music. You can remember the time you were in in your life when you, you know, heard Take Care for the first time. When him, Wayne, and um, Rick Ross used to drop songs together. And it'd be, like, legendary. Like, a song says, like, whatever the name of the song is, feature Lil Wayne, Rick Ross, and Drake. Like, you already know that's going to be a banger regardless. Even though Rick Ross is beefing with Drake now, too. It seems like the whole music industry is against Drake at this point, if we're being real. But um, back to, you know, the whole beef. So, you know, Future Metro Boomin just released the album. Um, I think it's, you know, We Don't Trust You. And although I like some of the songs on that album, which to me, Future, he makes good music, yes. But it, there's like a time and place when you can really listen to Future's music. Um, I, I'm not personally like, oh, like, let me throw in that Future yeah, I've listened to Future's album. I like a few songs, probably just like, really like a few um, I like personally. Um, but when we're talking about like just as a whole, you know, I don't really like every song. But on one of the songs um, off the album, I believe it was the, what was that song called? I think it was called like Cinderella. No, it wasn't Cinderella. It is, let me see, like that. So on that song, um, Kendrick Lamar um, had a whole feature, and he was basically dissing the top three, which is, you know, him, J. Cole, and Drake. And since J. Cole and Drake had that song, First Person Shooter, he was just, you know, actually starting some rap beef. Now, in my opinion, this man Kendrick could drop an album, he'll drop plenty of stuff, but he always comes out the blue with random beef. Now, you know, people say, oh, Drake started it. And although that may be true, it still is always random when Kendrick comes out of nowhere and does it. Because he always does it on a feature. He never does it on his own album, which is like, okay, I get it. I mean, if that's what you want to do, okay. Um, but if you could recall the song Control, where he was dissing, you know, he said, J Electron, Tyler, Matt Miller, and he mentioned Drake as well, saying he got love for everybody, but he's trying to murder, you know, them and make sure the core fan base never heard of them, stuff like that. Um, and, you know, rightfully so, you know, if you think you number one, hey, talk your stuff. Even though, like I said, Drake's been number one for so many years, like his songs never leave the Billboard's top 100. Now, people can say, I don't like the songs like that, I don't like his albums, which is fine, but in my personal opinion, Drake, he, he, he's always in the top, you know, spot for music. Kendrick is too, um, and so is Cole. A lot of people say, oh, Cole's music is boring. It's sleepy music. Like, my brother, he, he you know, he likes Cole's music, but he ain't finna turn on no J. Cole Blade in the whip. No, sir. 
my brother not finna do that now me i'll play the new album the one he just released which we'll get to that but um on that like that song like i said kendra lamar basically just dissed drake and j cole and so everybody's been in uproar about oh who's the best mc oh we finally got some rap beef we're gonna drop some music yada 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 we're gonna make sure we get the beef and right now it's looking like you know J. Cole came out of Might Delete Later album after the song. And like I said, you know, Kendrick was dissing all of these people and saying, oh, he's in the top three. He's yeah. this and that. Yeah. And so far, it's kind of just like Kendrick only said something to J. Cole dropped the album. So J. Cole dropped this Might Delete Later. And he on the song, on the album, he had a song called Seven Minute Drill. And my whole thing about J. Cole, right? He drops the disc record on Kendrick, basically saying his albums were bad, and the first one was boring, the second one nobody really listened to it, and the third one's oh, played me, oh, me, like oh, me, oh, barely. Oh, and I'm like, Cole, that, that really does sound like Cap, my boy, because I listen to all of Kendrick's projects, and every single one of them are <laughs> great. Like I, I can't deny Kendrick that he makes a good album they, they or a good body of work. Of like None of Kendrick's stuff flopped. Even the most recent thing has not flopped. So I'm just like, I don't really know what Cole talking about. But hey, if J. Cole wants to diss him, at least when Kendrick dissed him, he hopped in the booth, said a few words, and you know, he's just letting it rock. And I'm like, okay, cool. Like he's 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 getting some bars off. But then, you know, a day, not even a day, I think it was maybe like nine to twelve hours after he dropped that song dissing them. Um in, in going, bro. He literally came back and at Dreamville Fest, which Dreamville is like basically you have all these different yeah, artists. J. Cole holds it up in like North Carolina. Um, my boy Isaiah, who like I said, you'll see different gameplay with him in it as well. Um, he went to the Dreamville Fest and there J. Cole basically apologized and said, oh, you know, with my spirit it just doesn't feel right that I diss Kendrick and yada yada. And a lot of people are coming from the angle of, oh, when he said that, you know, he he just really, you know, he shouldn't apologize because if you're an MC, like you're a rapper, you know, if you don't have beef with people, you just need to rap. And, you know, I agree with him. Like, you already, he said it didn't sit right with his spirit. He said it was corny to him. It was lame. And my whole thing is, you know, I'm kind of on the same train. I have two sides to this because I agree with both angles, right? J. Cole has been in all his songs saying, oh, he's the best and he's Muhammad Ali and no one can touch him. If it was him and another I artist, he's number one, yada, yada. And then he comes out and apologizes for dropping the song and says it didn't sit right with his spirit. And a lot of people are saying it's probably because the diss wasn't that good. And once he saw the people online saying, oh, the diss wasn't that good, then he was like, oh, you know... I'm going to stay out of this beef. And, you know, it doesn't sit right in my spirit. But my whole thing is I can understand, like, you know, you had to change your heart about what you produced or what you made. And that is fine. OK, that is fine. But my whole thing is he, he went ahead, recorded the verse, got the song ready, put it on the album that he was coming out with the drop and dropped it. And it's like nowhere near y'all. At this point, bro, it's nothing to apologize for because it's already out there. Like, the damage has already been done. You've already said what you need to say. There's no reason for you to, you know, feel like, oh, I don't need to drop it because, you know, blah, 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 and my spirit. You know, I get it. If your spirit messed up, then, hey, all you got to say is, hey, y'all, I dropped this disc. Um... You know, I probably won't drop another one. I just feel like after dropping the disc, you know, this ain't really my battle or so. Um, or just not apologize at all. I don't know. To be honest, I'm kind of just like, you know, if people are going to talk about the top three, because J. Cole went ahead and apologized to Kendrick and said, oh, I rock with him, which, you know, J. Cole's a humble rapper. I can't really expect him to be dropping diss songs, nothing like that. Now, Drake and Kendrick, I'm waiting on the Drake the Drake thing to drop. I'm waiting on Drake to drop the heat. I'm waiting on Kendrick to drop the heat because I already know they're going to be coming with some heat when it comes to them making their diss songs. Oh my God. But my whole thing is like, if people are going to have a top three conversation, 
J. Cole was automatically three just because he apologized and the diss wasn't that good. Like the reason it probably didn't sit right with his spirit is because he was capping about Kendrick's albums, in my personal opinion. Like Kendrick's albums were good. There's there's nothing really phony about the album. There's nothing that no one didn't want to listen to or they thought was boring. You know, in my personal opinion, you know. But he's basically come out and, you know, apologized and basically the whole internet's up in storm. And I'm just kind of like, I understand if that wasn't what he thought he should produce or put out. And, you know, he's had a change of heart. You know, I'm always for people having a change of heart and thinking about their decisions. But because he already put out the song on the album, I'm like, bro, just just stand by what you said. And if you don't drop any other disses after this, then, hey, it is what it is. But I don't think it was a reason to apologize. But if you were lying about, you know, Kendrick's body of work musically, and then after you lied about his body of work Not musically one. being bad, he's very low. I can see why your spirit's off because you were lying. Because I mean, Kendrick's <laughs> albums are pretty good, so I can understand that. Um, and you know, my spirit to be off if I was lying about something that was clearly the opposite anyway. So right now, I'm really just you know waiting on Drake and Kendrick to drop a song. Joe Budden's come out and said, "Hey, Drake and Kendrick's camp." They told me like. Nah, they got the heat ready. Like, good night, good night, they good finna night. drop the, the songs. Like, it, it's definitely up. And not only that, Sorry, but okay. Future just released today. You know, we still don't trust you. Basically, part two. And ASAP Rocky is dissing them. And it's like, yo, Drake is getting dissed by everybody. So I don't know why everybody's against Drake, but I'm waiting to hear the diss track they drop. She's supposed to drop it today on Friday. So if he drops that diss track, A. Hey, the streets gonna be on fire. But anyways, man, thank you guys for watching the video. Like I said, better gameplay is coming than this one. Um, leave a like down below, a comment on what you guys think. And as always, it's been your boy Chad. I'm out. Peace.